Finally, my PC issues are going to be fixed. I'm taking you along for the ride. So anyone who has subscribed to the channel knows very well I've had PC issues over the last couple of months. I redecorated the office, it went great. I put out the video to say, hey, I've redone the office, you're going to get more and more content. But literally, just after I did that, this happened. And it was the first of many issues that started to plague my old system. There's not much actually wrong with my old system. It's just it's eight years old, and what I'm asking it to do is just out of reach of what it's capable of doing. It browses the internet perfectly okay. You can watch YouTube videos perfectly okay. But when it comes to high-resolution photos and video, it does lag out had some issues with the USB ports on it. Um, maybe it's the motherboard or the power supply. But apart from that, there is nothing wrong with the old system. And I can't moan. This system is old, but it has been running my business. So I can't really complain on that foot when it comes to the old system. So I'm on a super wide angle. I'm about to go back to HD to fit this uh, in because it's a really wide angle. And I'm going to briefly talk about the bits, why I've chosen them, and then I'm going to get into the whole build process. And if you're looking at this thinking it's going to be a tutorial on how to build a PC, it's not. It's literally just a build log. Let's start with probably the most important part, and that is the CPU. This is the Ryzen 9 5950X. 16 core, 32 threads monster. That is going to power through any of my editing in the future. To go with it, we have 64 gigabytes of RAM. This is from Patriot. I had very, very limited options on RAM. I did want 128 gigs in there, but there's no kits available. The, um, the Corsair Dominator that I wanted, there's none available. Literally, there is a shortage of RAM at the moment, as well as graphics card, which we'll get onto in a minute. We're going to be putting in a Resin Digital one terabyte NVMe M.2 drive. This is a Gen 4 drive, so it's going to be very, very quick. All of that is going to be placed into this bad boy here. This is an Asus ProArt B550 Creators Motherboard. What makes it a Creators Motherboard? Well, this has Thunderbolt 4 on it, which is great for future connectivity and upgradability for external hard drives in the future. We're going to be cooling the CPU with the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. Now, Be Quiet have sent this over to me free of charge, so I want to thank Be Quiet for helping to support the channel. We're going to be powering this bad boy with a Be Quiet Straight Power 11 850 watt platinum power supply. Again, this has been supplied by Be Quiet. And again, I want to thank them. And all of this goodness is going into this case. This is the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX. Again, this has been supplied by Be Quiet. I've also treated myself to some nice new headset, a wireless headset for editing. That's going to come in very handy. And we have a Seagate 6TB backup drive. More about this in the next video. So again, this is the first part of the build log of this system. I'm going to be releasing a video per day on the build log. So in the next video, we're going to be dealing with a very, very important step. And that's not the building of the system, but that is the prepping of the old system. Any eagle-eyed viewer here will notice there is no graphics card. And that's because we're going to be using the graphics card out of the old system. And that is an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super. Perfectly okay for my needs. We are also going to be stripping out some of the hard drives to put into this system. So before we can do that, I need to prep the old system back up my data and pull out the old stuff. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next part of this video series. Finally, my PC rolls will be over. No. Finally, my PC... Now, if you're looking at this uh, thing... So let's start with probably the most... Spat.